Minorities in Syria are once again in jeopardy. According to the British-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, at least 90 Christians were kidnapped by the Islamic State in the northeastern region Tuesday. The abduction took place after the extremist Islamic group took over two Assyrian villages in the province of Asake from the Kurdish forces. With these disturbing developments, it seems the IS is becoming even more of a major threat to minorities in the Middle East and perhaps beyond. A new UN report released on Monday reveals the horrific cost of the conflict in Iraq. The report says the direct targeting of civilians and indiscriminate attacks by IS and associated armed groups against civilians may amount to war crimes, crimes against humanity and possibly genocide. Meanwhile, on the Iraqi front, the fighting is shifting to the city of al-Baghdadi at the Anbar province, as Iraqi forces move forward to push the IS out the town. The city is seen as a major strategic point due to its proximity to the al-Assad airbase, where U.S. Marines are training Iraqi troops. New U.S. Secretary of Defense Ashton Carter, who visited the Gulf countries last week, has said that the defeat of the IS can and will be accomplished. Achieving the lasting defeat of ISIL will require a combined diplomatic and military effort. But as history shows, it may be too early to come out with hasty predictions. Mission may be accomplished, but without beating around the bush, it's not yet clear when and how.